Hey friends, welcome to Heartland Family Adventures. Today we invite you to join us for brunch at the Trattoria Al Forno at the Disney World Boardwalk. The Trattoria is open for breakfast and dinner, and it's known for its classic Italian dishes. It's located in the center of the Disney Boardwalk, with an easy walking distance to Epcot and many of the other nearby Disney resorts, including the Disney Boardwalk Resort, Beach and Yacht Club, as well as the Disney Swan and Dolphin Resorts. If you're enjoying our Disney World vlogs and dining reviews, please be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss our next video. When you walk into this restaurant, they have a beautiful wooden accents and decor, as well as a nice display of Italian wines in the lobby. In the past, this location has been a character dining location for breakfast called the Bon Voyage Adventure Breakfast with characters from Tangled and A Little Mermaid, including Ariel, Prince Eric, Rapunzel, and Flynn Rider. We're hopeful that they'll bring back this character dining experience again in the future, but until then we were interested to try out their breakfast on our latest trip. For breakfast, they have a nice variety of options including steak and eggs, poached eggs, Italian omelet, buttermilk pancakes, and avocado toast. They also have specialty drinks like sangria, Bloody Marys, mimosas, and peach bellinis, as well as Joffrey's coffee and iced coffees. During our recent visit, we ordered the avocado toast that comes with a grilled house-made ciabatta, avocado, bell peppers, mushrooms, chickpea scramble, and a balsamic basil vinaigrette for $12. We also ordered the open-faced Italian omelet, which was amazing. It comes with fresh mozzarella, a tomato basil omelet, a sundae gravy, and breakfast potatoes with bacon or sausage for $15. All right, so I got the avocado toast. It looks really fancy. <laughs> and I got the open-faced Italian omelet. <laughs> this thing is huge. You see, the about the size of my hand. <laughs> it's a big omelet. It looks looks amazing. Fresh, fresh tomato and basil on top with the mozzarella. I can't wait to dig in. <laughs> and then we also got uh, some coffee for our table. It just comes with your sugars and creamers. Uh, and here's a few from our table too. It's really nice in here. They play uh, the Disney music uh, like you hear in the parks. They've got some nice theming around too. Uh, this is an Italian restaurant. Um, prior to, I guess, this used to be a character sure, dining location, character breakfast location where you could meet uh, Flynn Rider and Rapunzel and uh, Princess Ariel and, er and Prince Eric. Um, right now, it's just it, they they kept the they kept the breakfast going, which is nice to see. Uh, and they're they're fairly full, so a lot of people here. Um, it's a great, great option here at the at the Disney Boardwalk. Starting with the avocado toast. Come here. Pick the <laughs> You're gonna want a knife on this one, or just pick it up and eat it. <laughs> yeah, I'll try to eat it proper first. <laughs> Get that perfect bite. I got a big bite here. <laughs> There's a lot going on there. <laughs> Lots of different flavors going on there. The bread is really nice with that. Kind of a 
nice thick piece of ciabatta, mm -hmm. crunchy on the outside. Mm -hmm. A good layer of avocado. Good layer of avocado and those bell, uh, the bell peppers really add something to it. Uh huh. That's that's not something I eat that they usually. Are the uh, are the radishes on top? Are they pickled or just like no? Separate? They're just they're just just fresh. Just fresh radishes. Just thinly sliced. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. How do you really, like like really the? Nice. Is it a, like a arugula salad arugula, on top? Right. That's, that's probably gives that's a nice pretty, pepper, pepperiness. Yeah. Yeah. That's usually a, most of the time when you find this, just kind of avocado spread with arugula on top. Mm -hmm. They've kind of made it fancier with the the bell peppers and the radishes and the ciabatta bread instead of just like a piece of toast. It's a nice yeah. fresh. Yeah. It really holds it up, doesn't it? Yeah. Awesome. That's what, great. Yeah, what, what, would you, what would you give it out of five stars? What would you give it? As far as um, avocado toast, five stars. This is the best avocado toast I've had. Wow. That's, yeah. that's, that's pretty high ranking from him because he almost always gets the if avocado toast. avocado toast on the breakfast menu, I, I get He it. orders it, so he's tried a lot of them. <laughs> I love avocado, and it's a nice, lighter breakfast. And, yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Delicious. What? I'm going to try the open-faced Italian omelet. Again, this thing is huge. Look at this, like this is as big as my hand. And this is probably more breakfast than I could usually eat, um, but it looks it looks absolutely delicious. And I guess since it's open-faced, it's like not folded over. So it's just, it's the full omelet with all of, all of the yummies inside. Again, they've got like a nice salad on here on top with some basil and some fresh greens, um, lots of pieces of bacon and some roasted tomato potatoes. So I'm gonna dig in here, and see what this is like. Get a little bit of all the flavors here. Get some of that Sunday gravy, that tomato puree. Got some of our fresh greens here in the mozzarella. Oh, that's a big bite. <laughs> Make a little smaller. And some of that fresh mozzarella too. There you go. That is delicious. Perfectly cooked omelet. Got some good flavors. Really well seasoned. And this, this, um, I don't know, breakfast gravy or this tomato puree over here on the side. That is fantastic. Um, goes really, really well. Gives it that roasted tomato flavor to go with your egg. And I love the fresh greens and the fresh mozzarella on top. I'm gonna try some of these, these breakfast potatoes too. Mm. Really well cooked. They're nice and crisp on the outside and soft on the inside and really well seasoned. You get a nice punch of salt and pepper on there, which I really like in a breakfast potato. I don't want it to be too bland. I want it to have a good, have, be well seasoned. Okay, try some bacon too. This looks really good. They give you a lot of bacon. That's good bacon. It's like an apple wood smoked bacon. Really nice and crisp. Great flavor. I mean, can't go wrong with bacon. So. Well, you can't. We like a crisp bacon, <laughs> and some yeah. places are not very crisp. Right, so. right. So they did get the crispness right. They cooked it. This is this is an amazing breakfast. I'm not going to be able to eat all this, but I'm going to try. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a long day at Epcot Land today, so but Epcot doesn't open until noon right now. So this is a perfect perfect opportunity to find some place um, here around the Boardwalk area that you can go for brunch. I know um, this place, the Trattoria Al Forno, does does a brunch option. Um, I think there's also a location over at um, the Ale and Compass, over at the Yacht Club, Disney's Yacht Club, um, that also does a, a brunch option. So the nice is really close to Epcot. You can come, have a nice leisurely sit down uh, breakfast or brunch, and then walk right into Epcot for your Epcot days. But we recommend this for the value. Yes. I mean, look at the size of that. Right, we were, we, we were comparing the menus and looking at the different options. These these were the, the options that really were really attractive to us. Plus, look at look the amount of food mm. that you get on your plate. Ale and Compass is about the same price, and I feel like the portion was maybe half that size, yeah. if that. So, yeah. yeah. We've, eat, we've eaten at the Ale and Compass. They have great food, just maybe not as large a portion sizes. Um, about about similar distance to Epcot, so you're not really getting, you know, it's just far as location. This is a great location. Um, and you get that little bit of Italian flair because this is an Italian restaurant. So get those kind of Italian seasonings, the Italian seasonings coming through and the kind of that flair. Plus the environment, the atmosphere in here is, is really, really nice. You've got the open kitchen back behind, um, back behind the camera where you can't see, but we'll, we'll show you guys. It's really, really nice atmosphere in here. It's quiet. We can hear each other speak. <laughs> Mm -hmm. We've got the nice Disney, the Disney music playing in the background. It's really enjoyable, really, really nice in here. What do you think now? What do you think so far? Well, this, is, this is great. This is a great option. Mm -hmm. So we're staying at the Swan, 
and one of the great things about the boardwalk in general and getting to this the trattoria it's less than a five minute walk to get here yeah and probably five to ten minute walk yeah, we were, we were booking minute. it this morning yeah we were pushing our <laughs> reservations so we walked fast and we were here in less than five minutes but you yeah. just you go out towards the boardwalk you turn right and you're here in no time mm -hmm. and then it takes 10 15 minutes to get to epcot so yeah really great proximity there's a lot of disney resorts over here including the swan and dolphin uh the, uh, the disney boardwalk the hotel of course right here on the boardwalk you have the uh, disney beach club and yacht club on the other side um, so a lot of resorts here around this area, a lot of great restaurants and options. Which are all great. Those are three great deluxe resorts, but you pay for a deluxe property. They're pretty expensive. Mm -hmm. so that's why the Swan Dolphin is a great option. It's it's considerably cheaper than the Disney deluxe resorts and has that same access to this boardwalk. Mm -hmm. Walking to Epcot, walking, and you can walk to Hollywood Studio. It's a little bit farther, but for most people, you can still walk it. If, it's, if that's too much for you to walk, they do have the boat transportation, which they closed for just a little bit, and we were excited that they it's, it's running again. They so brought it back. You can walk right out um, in between the Swan and Dolphin, catch a boat. They run every 30 minutes, mm -hmm. and take a nice boat, which is kind of an attraction in itself, to Epcot right. or to Hollywood Studios. Yeah, and they are running the boats 30 minutes prior and 30 minutes after yeah, park closing. So you can stay, you can get there with park opening and stay until mm -hmm. park close and still get back on the boat. So. Mm -hmm. It's just, it's That's a great, great option. Yeah. yeah, and we love this restaurant. Um, yeah. We we wanted to come here before with our kids uh, when they were doing the character dining, and we just never worked out to, to come in and, and do a nice sit-down meal here. Yeah. So we were so glad that we had a chance to come to a brunch. Yeah. I'd say a lot of character dining kind of gets, a, I'd say it gets a, ra a bad rap sometimes because a lot of those places don't have as good of a food, typically, mm -hmm. because they're, they're selling on the characters. Mm -hmm. but this place has great food. Yeah. It's one of the best options on the boardwalk. Yeah. Oh, very, very pleased so far. I, I'm still working on my, my omelet. I don't think I'm going to be able to finish it, but it was delicious. <laughs> I'll probably finish this, but I'm trying to take my time. <laughs> trying to savor it and enjoy it. <laughs> oh, and, the, and, the, and this, our server here, the, the customer service here is excellent. Uh, they're so kind. Um, yeah. yeah. I don't know. I've seen most of the servers. We have, we have an Italian server, you know. Yeah. yeah. You can see he's, he's got the accent. You can see where he's from in Italy, so, mm -hmm. which isn't always the case right now. But mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. I was glad to see that. Yeah. yeah. I love the theming in here. It's 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 absolutely beautiful with the, with the dark wood uh, trim, and I'll show you the ceiling. It's very beautiful in here. When we walked in, you walk into the entrance. Uh, they have a very large wall of wine. Yeah, they've got the, the, <laughs> the wine, wine bottles display, displayed in yeah. the front, and then we have the open kitchen back here. It's just a really, really fun environment. So we've yeah. really enjoyed it. Nice, leisurely. Just take your time, enjoy your brunch before you're gonna. We're gonna head off to Epcot here when they open at noon. Yeah, this is our second time staying in, in the Swan and this area. We loved it the first time, and so far we just checked in today. It's just as much. As soon as you walk yeah. in the boardwalk, yeah, it's like this is this is amazing. Yeah, it's a chilly morning today. We're here. We're here. You know, first it's first of December. So um, first of December, and it's feeling like it a little bit like it doesn't get the city. That's which is unusual for this time of year. Yeah. We're it's, but I think it's going to get up to 55 today. <laughs> yeah, well, and, and all, so, the, all the cast members are like right. complaining and kind of apologizing. Sorry, it's not usually this cold. And we're like, well, that's what we're used to. Yeah. <laughs> We've got our jackets. We're prepared. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. It'll be good. Yeah, well, thanks for joining us today for our, our quick dining review of the Trattoria El Forno. Uh, yeah, we were very pleased. We definitely recommend this place. Yeah. Any other any other thing you want to share? Um, you know, normally there is... There might be some other options, but this place is great. Yeah. I mean, if you can get a reservation here, go for it. Yeah, definitely recommend getting a late morning reservation. Uh, you can walk over here from one of the area hotels or resorts, or even just, you know, if you're planning an Epcot day, uh, you know, get a get a lift over here to the board, one of the air, boardwalk area resorts yeah. and then walk here to yeah, the boardwalk. Yeah, we were, I mean, we were, when they changed Epcot to not opening to noon, you're like, oh, noon, really? But then to take advantage let's make, of it. Yeah, 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 let's make the most of it. Yeah, yeah. let's yeah. really enjoy our day and take some time. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thanks for joining us. Hi guys, outdoor courtyard area of the Disney Boardwalk Resort. Uh, in the summertime, I think we, and it also, yeah, when you're here last in the spring, uh, they play uh, outdoor movies out here, out on the lawn, which is really nice. You see they have kind of like the fake tur turf grass. They have right now, they have a pretty Christmas tree out here in the middle of the courtyard area. Very festive.
After our brunch, we took a stroll along the boardwalk and went to see the decorations at the Disney Boardwalk Resort. We love the courtyard and the lobby for this resort. The decor is themed after an early 1900s Atlantic City. They also have characters here at different times of the day. And one fun fact that we noticed up on the walls in the lobby are they have portraits that are dedicated to each of the Disney Parks castles. So you have to look for those the next time you visit this location. <laughs> so sweet. <laughs> Thanks for joining us today at the Trattoria Al Forno in the Disney Boardwalk. Let us know in the comments below if you visited the Trattoria and your favorite thing to order on their menu. We'll see you next time.